exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. And welcome back to another episode of the San Francisco 49ers Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on Madden 22. That's right, we return. We are back with another episode, episode number three of the series. We've already done the draft. We played the first game in the last episode. And yes, it is still on all Madden difficulty. But if you guys watched the last game, it did not feel like it was on all Madden difficulty. We will continue to play on regular base all Madden difficulty until I feel like we've gotten enough sample size to determine we need to adjust sliders. And then I'll look up some sliders uh, to make things a little bit more difficult. But before that, we are going to continue to play on base all Madden and see how things work. So with all that being said, we are here. I've simulated to week nine and we got some big things to talk about. So let's get here straight into it. Smash that like button if you're excited for another episode. Hit that notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. We'd love to have you. Let's get right into the video. So here we are, week number nine. And as you can see, we are 7-0. The simulation has been very, very kind to us. And uh, Tom Brady's been killing it. Let's just let's just be frank. Let's, Tom Brady has been destroying teams this season. But the big thing that I wanted to mention, during my simulation, we got a breakout player. And that breakout player was for one Larry Fitzgerald. We now have our third superstar X-Factor wide receiver. Yeah, Larry Fitzgerald is now a superstar X-Factor. He needed four touchdowns, and Tom Brady threw four touchdowns straight to him. So... Without further ado, we need to keep working on Larry Fitzgerald. Get him the right uh, superstar X Factor. We already have, I think, Antonio Brown and Calvin Johnson both have double me. So I want to give him, I want to give him max security because Larry Fitzgerald rarely ever drops passes. So giving Larry Fitzgerald um, max security will be awesome. And then we will also give him Route Technician and Ride Receiver Apprentice. Those are going to be his uh, superstar abilities. But we also have um, Calvin Johnson and Antonio Brown. Oh, no, Antonio Brown has Rack Em Up. That's right. He has Rack Em Up. Uh, Calvin has Double Me. Adrian Peterson, he has... What is his ability? He's got Freight Train. Okay, so Adrian Peterson's got Freight Train. CJ2K is almost there. He should be getting a... Hopefully, he'll get a, a Dev Trade upgrade. Uh, pretty soon I did want to change Justin Houston to captain but I need to find somebody that has a captain C on that I want to take off not Reggie White he deserves to be a captain Dominican Sue probably needs to be a captain Sherman I think has captain on him yeah he's got captain on him Earl Thomas does he have captain on him he doesn't have captain he was hurt actually we had Reggie White hurt for about a month of the season um so that kind of sucks he's he's missed out on a little bit I think that's all the defensive guys that have captain on them. Who else? Brady obviously has one. Calvin Johnson has one. Does AB have one? AB doesn't have one. I don't think so. He doesn't. Uh, CJ, does CJ have one? He does. All right, we'll take captain off of CJ. No disrespect to CJ, but we'll take it off of him. And I want to put it on Justin Houston because I feel like Justin Houston deserves to be a captain on this team. So we will add him as our last captain. There we go. He will now wear the captain C on his chest. And that's the, the big, big news that I wanted to talk about. The other stuff is just doing some maintenance. Uh, we got some staff points to spend. We got to take a look at the mock drafts that came out during the simulation. So let's take a look at those first. The first mock draft came out, um, I think like week three or four it came out. So it has Dan Deardoff going number one, Derek Johnson number two, uh, David Deal going three, Leroy Selman four, Marcel Darius, Johnny Unitas, D'Angelo Hall, Bronco Nagurski. So this is the first um, the first batch of, of mock draft. Then if we, I didn't mean to press that. And then if we go down to our pick, which we probably have the last pick in the draft, 32, I would, I would guess. Um, no, we don't have pick. Oh, we don't have a first round pick, duh. <laughs> That's why we don't have a, a, 
a pick because we don't have a first round pick. I'm an idiot. The second mock draft, though, has David Deal going number two, Derek Johnson three, uh, Marcel Darius has fallen, John Unitas jumps up a little bit. The biggest jump, I think, was Demarius Thomas. He goes up six. Uh, Evan Mathis falls seven. Uh, El no, Elvis Doomermill and De Demarcus Ware jump up huge. Demarcus Ware jumps up 15. Okay. We have not got to mock draft three yet. We probably will uh, soon in this simulation. But I just wanted to show you guys that because I know that uh, you didn't see any of the, the prospect stuff while we were simulating. We do have weekly strategies. We took a look at this team the last episode. They have Randall Cunningham as their quarterback. We will defend the medium pass because it seems like that's what they're best at. Uh, on the offensive game plan, we will not run inside. I don't think we will go with we will go with the we will go with the deep ball because if you guys remember, we were dominating the deep ball um, last episode with Calvin Johnson. I do want to manage this a little bit. I'm gonna go with half pads for the practice intensity because we have been getting a lot of practice injuries. So half pads, we don't really need the XP necessarily, but I want to reduce the injuries. Um, and we will go with these guys still as our um, main upgrade people. I kind of, you know what? I don't think we need Tony Gonzalez on the upgrades anymore. I kind of want to upgrade Eddie George. I want to have Eddie George on here. We don't necessarily need Reggie White to have any more upgrades or at least get XP, I don't think, right? No, you know, take, let's take CJ off. Chris Johnson doesn't need to be on there. We could put Tim Tebow on there. That'd be pretty funny to have Tim Tebow on there. Um... I think we should give this to Walker Little just to let him develop. Maybe that'll help him out a little bit. Uh, Chris, Calvin Johnson doesn't probably need to be on there. Uh, I might give this to Tim Tebow, actually. <laughs> as funny as I, I made it sound, I might give that. Oh, Michael Orr is also a good possibility to give it to. Um, yeah, let's give it to Michael Orr because I want him to be our right tackle for a little bit at least. So we'll give it to him. Who else doesn't need really to be on here? Reggie White technically doesn't really need to be on here, so we'll, we'll take him off. And I'll put Tim Tebow on there just for the memes. <laughs> and we're going to do the pass for two plus touchdowns goal, I'm pretty sure. That seems to be pretty good. Uh, and yeah, let's start the simulating. Start the training. I will get these headphones on really quickly so that we can get right into the game. Any injuries? We have a clean bill of health going into the game against the Cardinals. This is game two against the Cardinals. We simulated a game a couple of weeks ago against the Cardinals and won. Uh, and it's a clean bill of health. Good. That's must be helping. The half pads must be helping a little bit. So they are six and two. We are seven and zero. Oh. Hopefully, trying to go eight and zero oh is the goal. Michael Orr gets an upgrade point. That's perfect. We will give him agile. This is upgrade point. Just because. Uh, I wanted him to be agile, obviously. Walker Little and Whitney Merciless get one. Let's give him a power rusher one. Doesn't really matter necessarily what Whitney Merciless is. It. Whitney Merciless gets. And then Walker Little, we will give you the power upgrade as well. So you can try and grow and be the best rookie that you can be. All right, that is all of that stuff done. Now let's spend some staff points really quickly before we jump in. And I do want to take a look at the stats because I haven't even personally looked at them. Um... So let's go with increased XP for quarterbacks. We'll go with that. And then all players count as a scheme fit. Definitely want to have that. And then I want to go over here to the player personnel stuff. And I want to work on, um, I want to work on this. I want to work on these, these things. So 2%, uh, I can't, I can't pay for those. Okay. So we'll go with, we'll probably go with maybe something around here probably no let's go to the offense or, or let's go to the defense coordinator let's get some some points in for him so equipped definitely got to get that quick gain the ability to equip x factors on the defensive lineup i don't think we had we obviously didn't have that so that must be why some of those defensive x factors weren't working in the first game let me check now um in this game that's gonna be a good test because i think since we didn't have that unlocked we couldn't get Reggie White's X Factor lit up. That's probably why it wasn't working. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Reggie White is our X Factor. Um, we must have somebody injured. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know where that came from. Um, why is Vinny Curry playing on the left end? He wasn't. He wasn't here on the left end, was he? I want Everson Griffin there. 
you know, I'll, I'll have to go do that quickly in the depth chart. Um, but we'll do that in a second because I want to take a look at the stats because I personally haven't even seen these stats yet. Tom Brady, I'm guessing, is dominating the league. He's got 1,700 passing yards, 20 touchdowns to one pick. He's killing it. 76% completion percentage. Chris Johnson's got almost 1,000 yards already with seven touchdowns. Antonio Brown. Uh, Calvin Johnson really hasn't even been the main target. These are... He's only got like around a hundred and something yards from the rest of the weeks. This is mainly from his first game, uh, these yards. And all these touchdowns are from his first game as well. Uh, Antonio Brown and Tony Gonzalez seem to be the main targets for, for Tom Brady. Um, on defense, 54 tackles for CJ Mosley. We've got five sacks for Dominican Sue so far. Interception leader is Richard Sherman at two. Uh, Mason Crosby's perfect from the field goal mark. Cordell Patterson has not returned a kick yet or a punt. These stats are looking pretty good so far during the halfway point of the season or getting close to the halfway point of the season. Yearly awards, I'm assuming Brady's at the top, right? He is not at the top. Marshawn Lynch killing it for the Chiefs this year. Uh, Brady's in 10th right now. He's going to have to step it up if he wants to be, if he wants to be uh, MVP. I don't think we have anybody that's leading the Panthers are killing the awards right now. They have dominated. Orlando Pace is the only one. Al Mason Crosby. We have two potential award winners so far, but the Panthers seem to be a pretty tough team this year. They are 6-2 and two going up against the 1-7 Patriots. I think we're the only undefeated team in the league. The Bills are winless. Uh, the Cowboys are 6-1. and one. The Colts are... Not the Colts. The Cardinals are 6-2. and two. Steelers are 6-1. and one. Panthers 6-2. and two. Bengals 6-2. and two. Dolphins 7-1. and one interesting there's some very interesting scores around the league but i will go fix the depth chart make sure that everson griffin is starting i think it must have got messed up with some injuries or something uh and then i'll see you guys in the game against the cardinals first home game of the season well at least first home play game of the season i hope you guys are excited smash that like button subscribe to the channel join the juice club let's get into it up next it's an nfc west rematch in week five, we saw the Cardinals defeat the 49ers. Arizona's now won 10 of their last 13 meetings, and they'll go for the season sweep right here on EA Sports. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First home game of the season in played games for the San Francisco 49ers. I have the uh, the black unis for the Cardinals, and I had to go retro with the, the 49ers. It's the first home game of the year. You got to go retro. And that is just some that is just some disgusting stats for Mr. Brady right there. Disgusting stats. 20 touchdowns, one interception through um hello are you really gonna let me do this on play one you can't be you can't be serious you're not gonna give calvin one-on-one -on, -one on play one we saw this against the lions that's a dime that's how you start a game you cannot give press coverage one-on-one -on -one with a guy like megatron he's too dominant and just like that, oh, I should have probably scored there. There was a big opening there. We'll run it again, I think, if I can press it. There we go. And Chris Johnson should, if I would have got a block by Duvernay Tardif. 
but I did not get it. That's okay. We will go with a double slant, and we will look for either Larry or maybe even Tony Gonzalez. He might get open here if we uh, if we audible Tony Gonzalez. He might get open here. He caught the very first touchdown in the series, and he catches the first one of this game. And just like that, four plays, and the 49ers have put up points. Tom Brady might set some touchdown records in this series. He's definitely going to set it because he's probably going to be our quarterback for most of this series. I know I like to, to get a lot of different fresh faces in here, but, I mean, with, when you have a guy like Tom Brady, I don't know if you can if you can get rid of him. That was a very quick series. It took us a minute to go four plays and score a touchdown. So we got Randall Cunningham on the Cardinals. They also have Alvin Kamara. We took a look at their roster in the last episode. You guys might forget it. You might not. And now that I have that, it's so good now that I have that X factor or that um, ability on defense now with the uh, the staff points. Now Reggie White has his X factor. So uh, I'm glad that I actually spent the points on defense because having his X factor is huge. And now we can see... Uh, Hopefully Everson Griffin. I'm hoping we get more breakout player things. I've only gotten one so far, and it was Larry Fitzgerald, like we talked about in the beginning. Uh, and it, it, it worked. He's he's up to Superstar X Factor now. And that's going to be a deep one. Kareem Jackson picked it off. Justin Houston forced the pressure on Randall Cunningham, and Kareem Jackson snags that one out of the air. That was some great teamwork there on defense. Justin Houston and Kareem Jackson working together there to force the turnover. And if we can squeeze through the hole, we cannot. CJ goes down quickly. Orlando Pace gets beat there. But who needs a run game when you have the wide receiver core that I have? I mean, can you really be worried? We have all three momentum home team things working. Larry Fitzgerald's here, and I threw That's my fault. That's my fault. I'm sorry, Brady. I'm sorry, Brady. I didn't mean to do that. Logan Ryan intercepts me. I should have put more air under that. That's 100% on me. Ah, that sucks. That's number two for him on the season now. I was hoping to go no interceptions back-to-back -back games because I didn't throw one in week number one. And Alvin Kamara stiff on the life out of me there. That's so upsetting. I can't believe that I threw that pick. I thought I had enough air under it, but I guess I needed to have more. I guess I needed to have more. Obviously, I needed to have more. I wouldn't have threw a pick there. And Alvin Kamara going to have a huge lane to run through. He gets down to the four. Alvin Kamara, 704 yards through the first half of the season. We are going to pinch the line and hopefully get some pressure in on Cunningham. And they're going to sneak it, or they're going to option it with Randall Cunningham, and he is going to get in. Uh, that was some good blocking from the... That was some good blocking from the Cardinals. Oh, that's so frustrating, man. We had all the momentum. Everything was going our way, and I throw that stupid pick. Ah, uh, I had... I, and, I, and the worst part is Fitzgerald was wide open. Like, it wasn't like I threw it into tight coverage or double coverage or... Like, it, it was an open pass. The, I don't know. It's just... In real life, that pass is open. In Madden, that pass is intercepted. So that's just the difference, I guess. But we move on. That's one thing about all Madden that you can't forget. You can't put, you can't be careless with the ball. You can't get overconfident. And Chris Johnson, good run to get up to the 34-yard line. Second down and one. I think we're going to need to prove, uh, prove our dominance to these Arizona Cardinals. I think they forgot who they're coming up against. They don't know. They never heard of Tom Brady before. They never heard of Megatron before. So they're gonna need to learn today. That's a big one for Calvin. We're gonna give this to CJ. He's gonna back his way up to the 50 yard line, 20 yards on five carries. Uh, let's give AP a shot. He doesn't really get a lot of love. But I definitely want to uh, feature him more. I'm going to have to cut that outside. I should not have. I should not have cut that outside. We will go with a Z slant. I will go quickly to Calvin. And that's going to be a risky throw. But it will work. Very risky throw there. Could have easily been knocked down or picked off. 
Give this to AP. He's gonna break a tackle, but he cannot get any more than just a couple yards. 310 yards on the season for Adrian. Uh, they are tight coverage on everybody, and this is gonna be a very easy touchdown for Calvin Johnson, you would assume. Yes. Easy money touchdown. Calvin Johnson. <laughs> Oh, Megatron, you are very good, and I love it. Absolutely love it. That shouldn't really... That should be a two-score lead. But it's only a one-score lead because I gave up a stupid interception. <sighs> we live through it, though. We have to live through it, fight another day. Our defense actually has to play really well. We played... See, we, we did well when they had to go the majority of the field, but... Our short yardage defense did not really hold up against this Cardinals team. Randall Cunningham's a little bit too dynamic on short yardage stuff. So when they have to go the majority of the field, we might have a chance. They're going to give this to Kamar. He's going to stiff arm uh, CJ Mosley, I think. I don't know who was back. No, it wasn't CJ Mosley. I don't know who was back there, but he got his bell rung by that stiff arm there. Since when is Alvin Kamara like Derrick Henry on the stiff arms? Like, I don't understand it, but... He's going to try it again, and Dominic and Sue's in the backfield to blow that up. Third down and eight. You can't run on our defense. When are you going to learn? The Lions learned it very quickly. <laughs> the Lions learned it very quickly. You cannot run on this defense. They tried. They had three of the best, and they couldn't do it. Cardinals are going to learn. And that's going to be Griffin in the backfield, but it's a screen pass that's incomplete, and we hold them to a three and out. See, that's what I'm talking about, Ari. Our defense is really good everywhere except for 20 yards and, and closer. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Cordero, give me a good block there. Give me a good block. Ah, you didn't block him. <laughs> you got to give me something there. How am I supposed to get a good return if I can't get a block? Brady under center for the next drive, the fourth drive of the game. Motioning the tight end, and AP trying to break it out. I got the shoelace. Got the shoelace. That's why this is such a big game. They were just talking about how the, these are the top two teams in the division. This is why it's such a big game, because the Cardinals, we already have game one. Uh, of the series so if we win this one then we swept them and depending on what happens the rest of the, the season we would have the, the tiebreaker so that's huge that is very huge third and seven Brady firing it and it's picked off to Antonio Brown or I was trying to get it to Antonio Brown and he's not going to get a pick six Oh, I'm making dumb decisions. I am making the worst decisions. I was so perfect in the first game. I threw five touchdowns, 300 plus yards, 290 some plus yards. I didn't make any mistakes, no interceptions, and now I've thrown two in this game. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's what's I don't know what's different. Nothing, nothing's changed from this game to that game. Oh, and Dominic and Sue's going to flatten Alvin Kamara. And it's third and goal. It is third and goal. I am actually going to pinch the defensive line in, just in case they try to get a run with Alvin Kamara. Uh, they're going to pass it here. And it's going to be Dominic and Sue. No! Reggie White, yes! Somebody got him. And Dominic and Sue's going to get half a sack. He's going to get credit for half of it. Reggie White will get the other one. And we save... A touchdown because Randall Cunningham could have easily gotten a touchdown there I don't know what he was doing and they kick the field goal it is up and good so we survive we survive the touchdown where they could have tied it thank God for Indomik and Sue getting the pressure there all right 14 to 10 now I need to stop making dumb mistakes I'm costing myself this game because of the decisions that I'm making with Brady I don't know why I'm making these dumb decisions, but I am, and it's cost me two interceptions now. Brady came in with this in this game with one, and now he's ending the game so far with three. Chris Johnson down to the 20-yard line. Six carries, 24 yards. Uh, if I could get him on a stretch, that would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This has worked before. If we cut this back inside, I couldn't get the joystick to work. 
human joystick was not in effect there. All right, we're third and five. I'm not liking anything. I mean, Calvin's got his X Factor lit up, so we could do it, but CJ's wide open. You can't pass this up. And plus, he's got the speed to outrun some people. He should at least have the speed to outrun some people. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. My only two incomplete passes are interceptions, which really annoys me. Really annoys me. But that was a good conversion there on on first or on third down. And that's going to be Chris Johnson. This time he's got the speed to get the edge. Chris Johnson starting to heat up a little bit, everybody. CJ2K, you can't keep him down forever. He's going to make an impact. He is going to make an impact. We are going to run a post route with Larry Fitzgerald, see if he can get open here. Speaking of making an impact, Larry Fitzgerald with his first catch of the day. Big time play. If I would have waited a little bit longer, that's probably a touchdown. But I wanted to get that ball out. I felt like there was some pressure coming. Now let's give this back to CJ and let him see if he can take this into the house. Cut this back inside. And he's going to fight for it. Down at the one. Ah, That's probably a touchdown. That's very close. All right, we will go with a goal line dive or a halfback dive with Adrian Peterson because he's the muscle. If this doesn't work, we'll go uh, quarterback sneak with Adrian Peter with uh, Brady. And Peterson gets in there for a rushing touchdown. Adrian Peterson scoring. That's a big one. Right before half, we add another touchdown. 21 to 10, full momentum. I actually played smart on that drive and didn't throw stupid interceptions like I have been on a couple drives. And we score. See, that's what happens when I play smart. We score. We don't throw interceptions. It's a novel concept, isn't it? Mason Crosby allows for a return and gets leveled. I don't. I think that was Wesley Woodyard. I'm not sure who that was, but he got leveled. Uh, or he did the leveling, I guess. Randall Cunningham, first and ten, about two minutes to go, a little under two minutes to go in the half. He's going to throw a screen pass to Kamara. This seems to be most of their offense is just Alvin Kamara, either running it or throwing little passes to him, uh, which is not a bad thing, I guess, but if we can figure it out, then they have no offense. Uh, Reggie White got held the last second. I was going to get a sack on him. I, I felt it. I felt the sack coming, but they do a good job blocking there. Reggie White's going to break free, and Shaw Jenkins couldn't get there. He was playing a little too soft, a little bit outside leverage he didn't have. So Randall Cunningham fires a dart in there. And that's going to be wide open. I don't know why he's wide open, but he is. Kareem Jackson's the one to bring him down. Uh, John Smith is the man that catches that ball. Good for him. They have a minute, and they have two timeouts, and they are at the 42. They're across midfield. They're in 49er territory. That might provide a psychological boost. They're getting some good momentum here. And Randall Cunningham's going to find his man. It's Janu again. Cunningham's just getting that ball away just a tiny bit before we can get the pressure with uh, Indomitian and Sue and, and Reggie White. I'm getting so close. Like that one. I, if he would have held it another second, I had him. And he's going to run out of bounds. Late hit from Sherman. Little chippy shot. Nothing going to come of it because Madden doesn't call those kind of hits. But it's the 27. They still have two timeouts. We cannot let them go out of bounds. If we're going to let them get a completed pass, they got to stay in bounds. And Reggie White's going to get the sack. He's going to get his full sack on that one. And that's going to be a big one. Second down and 19 now. If we can get another one to push him out of field goal range, that would be big. 48 seconds. They had to use their timeout there. And Reggie White's going to get him again. Another sack for Reggie White. Third and 25. Reggie White is asserting his dominance here. And he's got his X Factor lit up, which is unstoppable force. And he's already becoming an unstoppable force here as they're going to chuck it deep. Janoris Jenkins with the pick in the end zone. And we're going to take this one. We're going to take this one back. Can Janoris do anything with it? He cannot. Reggie White making a difference. That's why you draft a guy like Reggie White. He's making the difference in this game. He got pressure on three straight plays. And we're just going to send this one deep to Calvin Johnson. Why not? I mean, one-on-one -on -one to safety? No shot. No shot, right? Oh, that's money. Don't even have to aggressive catch it, Calvin! 
Calvin missed that. That's a touchdown. I cannot believe that Calvin just let that fall right next to him. Unbelievable. Madden, man. <laughs> Madden is just crazy. I put that ball where it needed to be. All right, let's find out if Reggie's still in the zone. He is. Unstoppable force is lit up. Oh, man, it is going to get crazy up in here if Reggie White is in a, is in the zone. Alvin Kamara smartly runs to the opposite side because he knows what will happen if he runs to Reggie's side. You see they got more they got more uh, blockers over on that side. Extra protection. Try and stop Reggie. But he's out of the backfield too quickly. He's a monster. Reggie White. He is everywhere. Third and eight. 21 to 10. They're going to audible out of a new play. But it's not going to be anything because Reggie White's going to be in the backfield far too quickly. He was. But Randall Cunningham, good on him for getting that ball away. It's a little bit disappointing that he uh, he got that ball away. And that's going to be the end of his his uh, X Factor because it was a, I'm assuming it was a pass over 20 yards. And I think that's what gets rid of his X Factor. But he doesn't need an X Factor. I hit stupid quarterback. I hit the quarterback. Ah! <sighs> I'm just so focused on trying to get Reggie back in the zone that I... I got I cost herself 15 yards on that one. That's my bad. All right, let's uh, let's use her Everson Griffin here a little bit. No, no, no. Let's let's use her Dominican Sue. See if we can get anything. And there it is. Uh, okay, I'm glad that Reggie was there to, to bring him down. I don't know why. Why does it do that? It like, it's why would I want to dive in front of the guy? I obviously want to dive at the guy, and yet it just does that. So. Oh, uh, that's going to be a stop by JPP. Jason Pierre-Paul in the backfield. Third and 11. Our defense is starting to heat up. And I'm here for it. I'm loving it. The defense is heating up. Third quarter. Everybody's starting to get a little bit tired. That's going to be a nice catch by Johnny Smith. Kareem Jackson just couldn't keep up with him. I don't know why. It's a tight end. He just couldn't keep up with him. And that's going to be a converted third down. We still have all the momentum, which is awesome. We're going to try. And how did he fit that in there? That's a ball. That's a ball out. Fumble. Everson Griffin with the recovery. He hurdles a man. A huge hit stick. And that's the ball. That is the ball out. Who did it? It was Earl Thomas laying the boom. Earl Thomas throws the hammer down on who is that? Is that Marvin Jones Jr.? That can't be Marvin Jones Jr. But whoever it is got the hammer laid on him and Everson Griffin there to pop that one back out. Great job. Great turn of events there. Our defense was heating up, but the secondary was, was starting to let a little bit go, and I don't like that. Let's see if we can stretch this one. Oh, CJ got to slip that. You got to slip that, CJ. That's all I can say about that. Second down and 10. Calvin's got one-on-one. -on -one. They'll never learn, will they? Oh, Brady slipped, I think, a little bit. Let's get that to Tony Gonzalez. And Tony's going to have some space. Tony Gonzalez, one of the best to ever do it. And he's going to get down to the 44-yard line. One of the best to ever do it. I haven't really had the ability to target Antonio Brown because he hasn't really been my, my main go-to guy. He hasn't been open, really. Or maybe he has, but I just haven't been looking his way. Second and 10 coming up. All right, AB's one-on-one. -on -one. Everybody's one-on-one. -on -one. This is the same touchdown uh, that we threw to Calvin earlier, and it's open again, and it's a touchdown again because Calvin Johnson is Megatron. Big time scores from Calvin Johnson. He's going to resuscitate Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> That's a funny one. Oh, uh, Tom Brady, MVP chance should be ringing throughout Levi Stadium, and I'm... That's, uh... That's annoying. 
<laughs> of course I would miss an extra point. You can always count. I'm always good for at least one a game. <laughs> I don't know why. The extra points should be very easy to do. And I just I just suck at them apparently. Like this entire game. I suck at this game. That's okay though. 27 to 10. It's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Because we are going to get another sack. Everson Griffin. Everybody's getting in on the sack party. I want that sack. He wants that sack. Everybody wants that sack, ladies and gentlemen. Give me that sack, because I want it. Second down and 19. Randall Cunningham has no idea what's hitting him because he's coming from every direction. And that's going to be completed to Alvin Kamara. And Earl Thomas lays the boom again. But this time, Kamara holds on to it. Let's bring some more pressure. This is finally what I'm, I'm, I wanted last game against the Lions. And I feel like the offensive line for the Cardinals is a little bit better, which is why I'm surprised that we are doing so well. And Earl Thomas laid the boom again, back-to-back -back plays. But they aren't going to do anything. They're going to punt it out third, or three and out, excuse me. And they'll punt it back to us, where we will try and just run some clock out of, basically, because this game is finito. We will juke a man. Ah, Cordero. Oh, he did break that, technically. But there was somebody else there. I'm going to get one of these punt returns. I'm going to get one. Let's use AP for a little bit. Give CJ a bit of a break. See if we can get something going with Adrian. Peterson can't do it. Can't do it. But we will give it to him again. Back-to-back -back carries. And there's just no blocking. No blocking for Adrian Peterson like there is for, for uh, Johnson. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. Seven minutes of football left here in Levi Stadium. 27 to 10 is your score. And let's give this to Larry. That's a big time catch from a big time receiver. They don't give me the first down, really. You're not going to give me the first down on that one. You kidding me right now? Oh! I. You're right. You're right, Brandon Godden. I did not see the linebacker there. I thought I had an easy open pass to Antonio Brown, but they kudos to them. They take over. They take over. I hit Randall Cunningham again. Oh, my God. They're saving. The refs are saving the Cardinals right now. The refs are saving the Cardinals. That's a second roughing the passer call. We need the points. Man. Those are backbreaking. And who's going to get him? Justin Houston's going to be the one to do it. I miss with Reggie White as usual because I'm a bad user tackler. But Justin Houston's going to be the man to do it. Another sack. That's got to be like six, right? Six sacks in the day for the, the, the Niners defense. Looking to throw. Who's going to get there this time? Who's going to get there this time? Nobody. He's going to throw it away. Smart smart idea. Because you had Everson Griffin, or maybe Ndamukong Sue, either one, and you had Reggie White uh, coming after you. So that's a smart idea to throw that one away. They're going to audible out of this play. Motion Kamara to the outside. What are they thinking here? Empty backfield. Nobody to help block for Randall Cunningham. But he's not going to need it because he's going to dump this off to Kamara and get out of bounds. Fourth down. They're probably going to go for this. They are going to go for this. It's fourth and eight. Let's see if we can stand up here and stop one. That would be big. Reggie White. I hit him. I hit him again for the third time. I hit Randall Cunningham late. Stop it. Stop hitting him late. They completed the pass anyway. So this just adds to the yardage. Cannot stop hitting Randall Cunningham late. I don't know why. He's just getting it out a second before I get there. And it's just, it's not working. They have Arian Foster too. That's cool. Arian Foster is their backup running back to Alvin Kamara. Second down and goal. We have no Reggie Wright uh, on the defensive line. Maybe he's tired or he's hurt or something. I don't know what it is, but we will use her Justin Houston here. 
As we try to get some more pressure on him, switch to JPP. Somebody's got to get to him. Somebody picked that off. Incomplete. Good defense, Joe Hayden and Janoris Jenkins. All right, Reggie White was just tired for that play. All right, that's good. I'm glad he's not hurt because he missed a month of the season um, in during simulation. So I'm glad that he is back and not hurt. And Indomitian Sue is going to get the pressure we needed. And that's going to go incomplete. They have no chance for a first down here, so whatever happens, they're either scoring or it's a turnover. There's no other outcome. There's no other outcome. Score or turnover. It's going to be a turnover. Joe Hayden with the interception, and nobody's by him. He's got clouds of space. Joe Hayden gets by him at the 30, 25, 20. He's quick, and he gets caught. Joe Hayden doesn't have the speed. But he takes it to the seven. Joe Hayden intercepts it at the goal line and takes it almost to the goal line of our team. Or of our side. And now Chris Johnson kind of got stuck by DuVernay Tardif there. 59 yards rushing for him. No touchdowns. We're going to try and change that on this drive. If he can find his way in. Can't get in there, so we're gonna go with a pass play here. I'm looking at Antonio Brown or Tony Gonzalez here. I'm looking at that right side. Brady motions Antonio Brown in. It's gonna be quick throw. Antonio Brown caught touchdown. A B, and that is the game. That is the nail. The nail in the coffin. As I kick my extra point, I actually do make it this time. 34 to 10 our defense really came to play in this one like there's not really much else you can say our offense obviously always comes to play but the defense really stepped up we got so many sacks on randall cunningham uh three interceptions from randall cunningham i mean we just dominated the entire oh god christian koya destroyed him we just dominated from the start it was never really a challenge. And if I wouldn't have thrown two interceptions with Tom Brady, we would have a shutout right now, which is what really frustrates me. Because <laughs> the Cardinals have not been able to do anything except for when we gave them great field position. And Justin Houston comes off the edge and obliterates Randall Cunningham. Another sack. We are dominating. Look at the pressure that Justin Houston got. It was almost immediate. He slips the left tackle, and then the blind side is gone. And he just obliterates him. Absolutely obliterates him as Justin Houston and this 49ers defense is just killing the Cardinals. Killing the Cardinals. Literally killing them. They're not going to survive. If I would have hit stick him, he might be dead right now. Like, look at this, the pressure, and then boom, blindsided, didn't even see it coming. The left tackle got embarrassed on this one. Thomas, is that Andrew Thomas? He got just embarrassed, and then boom, big hit. Ja uh, Justin Houston, that's why we gave him the captaincy on his chest, because he does stuff like that. His second sack of the day. I think Reggie's got two or three. Everson Griffin's got one. Sue, I think, has a half of one. And that's going to be almost a safety, but he's going to throw that out of bounds. I tried to get a safety on that one. That would have been just the icing on top of the cake. Third and 21 as we uh, try and get another sack here. Some sort of positive play on defense just to keep bolstering this team. They're going to motion a man, not do anything with it. And Reggie White got there, but he gets it away. Just a second too late. A half a second even before we could have got that that safety that would have been just even better but we will force the punt and Cordell, Cordell Pat Patterson actually has some time to make something happen here and he can't do it even with time can't make anybody miss Chris Johnson I haven't really run with him that much <laughs> it's been Brady passing the ball or Adrian Peterson and it'll be Adrian Peterson again I want Adrian Peterson to get a lot of carries because I like Adrian Peterson. I feel like he deserves to be a fair representative of this team in terms of sharing carries with Chris Johnson. Plus, they're not really uh, that different in terms of overall. I think they're both 99, so that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. 29, carry, or 29 yards on nine carries, not 29 carries. 
Uh, let's stretch this one with, with CJ, see what happens here. Brady going to snap it, hand it off to him, and there's going to be not enough blocking. Tony Gonzalez not quick enough to get out there. I got no yardage on that one. I lost a yard. But this game's over, 34 to 10, unless we add another extra uh, touchdown or something. This will be the final score. I got bumped, and that's going to be a holding call, and we're going to come back. Oh. I can never just have a successful run play. I cannot just have a successful run race. CJ Ozama with his cheese smile is just going, oh, that's annoying. I can never get anything positive, can I? Give that to Chris Johnson. Oh, look at the joystick. That was the joystick right there. And then he just got the acceleration. Chris Johnson, CJ, 2K, baby. Any given Sunday, he can go off. He just needs one open hole. Look at that. He just needs one open hole, and then the human joystick uh, ability comes into play there. And look at that. The acceleration at the end. Nobody's catching him. And Chris Johnson takes it to the house. He's got to get 2,000 yards. He's got to get it. He's CJ2K. He can't go without having 2,000 yards. 41 to 10. We've scored as many points as Alvin Kamara's number. <laughs> as Alvin Kamara's jersey number. With a minute 25 to go, this one's over, obviously. It's been over for a while. And this really doesn't feel like all Madden difficulty. I'm a little bit surprised. It just tells you how much difference having so many good players can help you on all Madden instead of having, like, the players that we have on the Cougars. All right, let's see what Randall Cunningham does here. He's had no chance in the second half. Our our pressure on the defensive line has been unmatched. And it's going to happen again. No, it's not. He's just getting that ball away. Just barely getting that ball away before one of the many pass rushers gets to him. It's very frustrating that we can't get even more sacks. We should have even more than what we have. But we can't get to him quick enough. C.J. Mosley, speaking of not getting him to him quick enough, C.J. Mosley's there to bring him down. Everybody's getting involved in the sack party. It is a sack of palooza in San Fran. Well, in Santa Clara, technically. Give me that sack. I want that sack. And that's going to be completed and out of bounds at the 23. That's going to be fourth down, right? Fourth down and 11. And they're just going to give up. <laughs> they're just going to give up and punt this football back to us. We are going to go 8 and 0 on the season. Cordero spin move. Oh, I spun the wrong way. I spun the wrong way. He got me. All right, we'll give this to AP since CJ had the big long carry. So we'll give this to AP, see if he can do anything with it. Brady really hasn't even had to do anything for like a quarter. <laughs> He really hasn't had to do anything. And there, Mike Hilton's going to go down with an injury. All right. 41 to 10 will probably be your final score unless CJ breaks another one, which is very possible. 118 yards on the day. He had 50 coming into the fourth quarter, I think. And now he's got 118. Take a knee? Why would we not take a knee? Or why would we take a knee? Oh, that was pass interference. I don't know about you, but <laughs> that was clear pass interference. But whatever. 33 seconds left. It's not like the Cardinals are going to win this game. So, quick throw. Tony Gonzalez catch the ball. Easy money. Four touchdowns. Two stupid interceptions that should never be on the, the resume for Tom Brady. But they are. I'm going to break it to the outside. CJ 2K, Chris Johnson, 138 yards on 17 carries. He is explosive. He is explosive. 12 seconds left. We might as well just give this one final time. Adrian Peterson, see if anything can happen here. He broke a tackle. Almost got something there. That would have been crazy. And that's going to be the end of the game. We take an easy W. All we do is take W's, boys. We just like Jameis Winston. We eat W's. We eat W's. Tom Brady, 288 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions that should not count, but they do. 12 of 17. 
Cal uh, Chris Johnson, 17 carries, 138 yards, touchdown. Adrian Peterson, 11 carries, 36 yards in a touchdown. Calvin Johnson, another 100-plus yard day. <clears throat> Five carries, 179 yards, two touchdowns. Tony Gonzalez and Antonio Brown both had touchdowns. On defense, Reggie White came to play. Two and a half sacks for him. We had two sacks for Justin Houston, one for Everson Griffin, one for CJ Mosley, and a half for Indomitian and Sue. We picked off cutting him three times. Janoris Jenkins, Joe Hayden, and Kareem Jackson. Mason Crosby missed an extra point, which frustrates me, but it is what it is. And that's going to be the game. 8-0. Let's go back to the main menu and wrap this up. We've been a W of an episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed Okay, so now that we own the season series against the Cardinals, we don't really have to worry about them, and the Seahawks and the Rams are both really bad, so we basically just clinched the division there. Let me check and see if that's actually true. Have we clinched? I, I would assume not. Yeah, I was going to say, I would assume not. Uh, we're the only undefeated team left in the, the NFL. The Dolphins have one loss. Steelers have one loss. But once we go a couple more games, I'm assuming we're going to clinch the division pretty quickly because... The Cardinals can't beat us unless we just go on a complete losing streak. That's the only way because we own the division series now. But you guys know that the next game you will see is week 18 against the Rams, right? Yeah, against the Rams. So this bad team that's 2-7, and seven, we will play them in the final game of the season in SoFi uh, in week 18. So I will simulate the rest of these games before the next episode. Hopefully we're still undefeated, but who knows? You can't win every single game. So who knows what's going to happen during the simulation. You know how Madden simulation is. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. What a crazy episode it was. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.